Hi everyone, this is Zen Monk Alain Lafont from zentemple.net and 200ok.ch. This is a very short screencast on how to use Emacs with the email user agent mu for Emacs or short uh, mu for e. Uh, and the screencast specifically is how to deal with HTML emails. But let's first talk a little bit about the premise. Why would I even want to do emails in Emacs? So I would claim that writing and reading email is inherently a text-based workflow. So yeah, of course, there's HTML me emails and attachments. And however, the core of email is probably the place where most people write and consume text most of the time. So to actually go ahead and utilize the best text processing program that is available to you might make a lot of sense. Uh, additionally, specifically for Emacs, when you combine that with the other powerful features of Emacs, such as org mode to organize your emails for projects and to-dos or processing uh, emails, then uh, it not only makes a lot of sense, but it becomes a huge powerhouse. I'm not going to go a lot into that. There's lots of uh, documentation on that out there. I'm just going to tackle a specific problem that uh, people come up with regularly. Very often they say, yeah, but I cannot really use uh, email from a tool like Emacs because many people write HTML emails and HTML emails clearly will not work within Emacs, right? Uh, so let's take a look. There's uh, three examples I want to show you. And the first is that actually most emails that are sent in HTML are also sent in text plane. For example, this is an email from Apple here that I'm, I can link to. This is my uh, email program, Move4E. And it's a invoice from Apple. And you can read all the important information in here. It says it's an invoice. It's being billed to me. I get my membership for some uh, sports tracking application that I'm using on my Apple Watch. That's what it's costing and so on and so forth. Why does it look like this? Well, if I look at the source of the mail, I can say, I mean, this is a little geeky now, but just uh, for the geeks, uh, uh, there is actually two kinds of emails uh, attached in here. There's a MIME type text plane. So the whole email and all the content is put here in text plane format. Yes, of course, it's also put here in HTML format, but I don't have to read that if I don't want to. I could if I wanted. I could, for example, open this email up with uh, a different viewer and then I can see all the formatting and images if I wanted to. Uh, but let me uh, show you a different email. Like I said, most emails work like this. If I get a newsletter, invoices, most of the tools also send text plain. So I usually don't have to look at HTML whatsoever. Uh, that's also the same if people send emails through uh, Google Mail or Outlook or all those fancy uh, and proprietary tools. Usually they just look fine because they are also sent in text plain automatically without the user doing anything. However, very uh, seldomly uh, I just get an HTML email and usually that also looks fine actually. Let me open that up. For example, this is an invoice that I'm getting uh, through a Swiss uh, company. I bought some stuff and uh, the Swiss post informs me that I will get my stuff delivered on this day at this time. Looks perfect to me. How does that work? Well, Emacs can also render HTML. It's just not looking exactly the same as in the browser. If I would open it in the browser, there's more stuff. But all this stuff, to be honest, doesn't really look better to me. I mean, there's not more information. 
in here. So often HTML emails just look fine, even in Emacs. So I don't even have to leave Emacs for that. However, very, very rarely, I would say that's one email in hundreds. I get an HTML email that is only an HTML email and that looks bad when rendered through Emacs. For example, this is an email that I got from Musician and there is some stuff in here, some text, but uh, it's not really rendered in a way that makes any sense to read. But it's not a problem whatsoever. I can hit one keystroke and open it up in a browser, for example. And browsers are pretty good for viewing HTML and I can quickly close it too. Or even nicer, I can not start a separate process. I can, within Emacs, render this uh, email as a PDF, for example. I hit a different keystroke and uh, now this email is being shown to me as a PDF and I can go through it as a PDF and still find stuff, for example, copy paste stuff, all the regular things. So that works equally well. So how does that work? Uh, the PDF rendering uh, is done through a tool called message to PDF that is built in to Move4E. If you go to the uh, GitHub repository of Move4E, you will see that there is a small C program in here, message to PDF.C, which actually does the rendering and my key binding just hooks that up. It's also mentioned in the installation manual what kind of stuff you need for that. Uh, for example, if you're under Debian, you would have to install libwebkit uh, gtk. Uh, but uh, if you're not that much of a technical person, you also don't have to install that stuff. For example, as I said, most emails work fine. And if you don't uh, like it that way, just open it up and say view in browser and then it looks perfectly. No need to install anything else. If you're curious uh, about my uh, email configuration, you can check it out on uh, GitHub. Uh, my username is uh, Moonan. The repository is called emacs.d uh, and under move4e I have all the stuff uh, documented that you need for installation and then all the stuff for uh, configuration. Oh. By the way, this doesn't only have uh, my email configuration, it actually has all my Emacs configuration documented in literate programming style. Okay, so that's been the short screencast on how to use Emacs and move for E and still be able to use HTML emails. Uh, if you like that, check out the websites sendtemple.net and 200ok.ch. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great time and uh, I hope you can get back some enjoyment and productivity by using good tooling even for email.